right. I think think we're good to go. If everybody's my twerking. Good morning, everyone. Should be. Yep. Hello. Hi. Hey. Okay. I will. I will let you two take take it from there. We we could start in three, three minutes because I delayed the panel a little bit. Okay. MC, did you want to introduce the panel? Sure, I can do that. Okay. And we'll do it in three minutes because that's when we're starting. Yeah. Hey, all of you just coming in right now. We're just going to wait a few more minutes, then we'll get started. Yeah. Praying everyone's having a lovely day so far. Okay, I think it's started. Okay. Yeah. Oh, let me see. Get back up here. Hurry. Yeah, yeah sorry, <laughs> sorry about that. I just realized I forgot to get out of the green room. Oh, you're anyway, good. Anyway, welcome everyone to the Q&A with Scruffy Berry. I'm, I'll be your host, MC Voices, and joining me is my co-host, the lovely Sonic Boone. Hi. And joining us today is our very special guest, Scruffy Berry. Oh. So, Scruffy Berry, in order to start us off, would you mind telling us a bit about who you are for those of you who don't know you? Well, I'm just an average potato who loves to draw. Uh, Sonic just happens to be one of them. And um, I love Sonic for a very long time. Been probably been his fan for 13 years. Nice. Oh, wow. A long time. Indeed. So, anyway, would you mind telling us? What got you into illustration? I'm not quite sure where to start. It's just one of those things that you do as a child and then you just don't stop. And I just kept going and going. And here I am today still drawing. Awesome. What got you into Sonic? Funny enough, probably YouTube. Just browsing YouTube as a child and seeing <laughs> the Sonic shipping <laughs> A and B's. And I was like, what is this? And then that got me into the lore and such. I, I didn't even know what they were at first. I thought they were cats because of their ears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Seems yeah. to be a common misconception. <laughs> um, what programs or equipment slash software do you use to create your amazing artwork? So I usually use Paint to Sci, and that's my main program. But occasionally I will get bored at work and I will use MS Paint to draw as well. That's awesome. Wow. Thank you. Now, I hope you don't mind. Would you mind showing a bit of your artwork either in the screenshot area or in the discussion chat? Um, sure. I'm not sure how to go about that. Um, how do I do that? Showing my artwork. Oh, um, well, if we're talking about the our show discussion, um, there should be like a little plus in the corner. A plus in the corner. Um, I'll ping you in the discussion chat so you know where to do it. Okay, yeah, that'll be perfect. I was thinking I can also share my screen, but um, let me see. Oh, did you, if you wanted to do that, if that's easier. Yeah. Um, sure, I can try doing that. Um, hold on, let me see if I can. Uh, mm, mm, uh, okay, can you guys see my screen? Sure, yeah, you can. sure can. Awesome, awesome. So I can pull up my Sonic fan arts in my folder. So here are some mm. of them. And uh, excuse all the shedding, me artwork. I am a fan of them. <laughs> I so. am too. I love it. I think it's really yeah. cute. Let's go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so here's some, as an example, a redraw of someone else's Amy. And it's kind of her as like a rose creature in a way. Mm. And another one that I really enjoy was this human version I did of Amy and Metal Sonic from the short, the little holiday short. I thought that was really fun to do. Not a lot of human uh, metal with Sonic. So I thought, yeah. hey, let's change that. Um, let's see here. Another. I do like Stone Amy as well. So I will occasionally draw them too. They're quite cute together. And I can try to see if there's any other artwork I can show. I was a huge My Little Nightmares, uh, Little Nightmares fan before um, going back into Sonic. So I did quite a lot of artwork for them as well. Um, one of my favorites, let's see if I can pull one up, is the one I did for probably the, I think the first anniversary. And you can see it's the main character, Small No. 6, going through each stages with the monsters and such. And another popular fandom that I've joined more recently will probably be Digital Circus. I love the show a lot. Yeah, so I did a few fan arts for them, such as this one and like kind of like a little parody 
poster of um, it with the circus gangs. And my most popular one will probably be a little comic I did of Palmy and Courage based off of the scene when she was opening doors and she opens the door to Courage. Just based off that scene where Courage was opening doors and every door he opened, he saw like a monster. So it'd be funny yeah. if they kind of bumped into each other in a way because they're both yeah. cute little wholesome cinnamon rolls who needs comfort. And let me see if I can find uh, oh, some MS Paint works that I've done. Um, one second. I'm going to just stop streaming for a bit and let me get to the folder with MS Paint artwork. So, okay. Um, yeah, actually, here we go. Here it is with all the MS Paint artworks. Um, I do most of these with a mouse at work because I don't have my tablet. But when I'm working from home, I do use um, my tablet. So you can see popular characters such as Makima. Um, is it popping up for you guys? Like, yeah, I one? can see oh, it. Awesome, awesome. So here is um, Saber, for example. And here's Tornado from uh, One Punch Man. And sometimes I'll do some OCs, oh, such as um, these two. They're my OCs. So a lot of fun working on these. Uh, I can probably... Uh, okay. That's uh, about some of the arcs, uh, artworks that okay, I've done. Okay. They all look so wonderful. There's yeah. so much detail put in them. I Thank love you. Them. I love how you color, too. It's amazing. Thank you. I'm glad. Absolutely. Well, anyway, I think we should move on to audience questions now. So if you have a question for Scruffy Berry, feel free to raise your hand and we'll call on you. And to start us off, I think I'll, I'll start. I'll start off with Kevin. Yeah, the man, the myth, the legend. Hey, let's just go. <laughs> hey, yeah, so my question to you, Scruffy Berry, um, is there, was there like a inspiration behind your style, especially your coloring? I'm not sure. There's a lot of artists that I follow. I'm not sure if there's a particular one artist that inspires my style. There's a lot. It's hard to name them all. Some of them also being um, just online artists such as um, Yume and um, Genie. Popular artists like that. I'm trying to think if there's any manga artists that inspired me. There's quite a lot. Probably the I really like Junji Ito as well, but um, and I, I don't really do as much ink work as he does. Uh, I will say the the Human Eight Classic Amy and Metal Sonic that's one of my favorite, especially because there's not a lot of human Sonic art around, so to say. So it, it was very well well done. Thank you. I've been seeing more artists draw um, Sonic. Uh, Ginchikas, I think that's what they're called. Basically, human versions of um, animal characters. I've been seeing more of those, and like they're all amazing from each artist's. Yeah. Well, thank you for answering my question. Yeah, thank you so much for coming up, Kevin. And Boone, you want to call up the next audience member? Sure. Um, I'll bring up Radar the Main. We'll get up here, or else. Hi. Oh, cool. well, it's a good thing I'm not going to find out about the what else now. <laughs> hey, Radar. Hey, everybody. Hello, Scruffy. Nice to meet you. Hello, Radar. Just wanted to say, uh, I saw uh, the first artwork I ever saw from you was of uh, the Rose Sisters of the Shatterverse variants. One of my favorite oh. artworks you did. Oh, yes. Thank you. Yes. I had a lot of fun doing that because around that time, there wasn't a lot of artworks of them. So I'm like, let's draw them, but all together. You hopped on that hype train and look what came afterwards. <laughs> indeed. Indeed. I especially love how you uh, did Rusty. Really like what you did with her there. Yes. I mean, actually funny. She's not like my favorite Amy from the Sonic first. I, my favorite is uh, Black Rose. I just like the pirate theme to her. And I think second would probably be um, Thorn. So funny enough, Rusty actually is my, my least favorite out of the sister, but I still like her a lot. They're all fun. We love them. We love the Amys of any universe, really. Yes, indeed. <laughs> uh, so did you have a question for Scruffy? Yes, I did. My question is simply just to uh, get to know the inner Sonic fan of others better. Uh, to see like what they're like as a Sonic fan and such. So uh, my question to you is, what is your favorite location from the world of Sonic? Any zone, any place uh, seen in like 
the comic books or uh, among other things, favorite levels from the games, eh, all that. Hmm. I haven't really played a lot of Sonic games. I more or less watch gameplays. But if I have to choose a favorite zone, I feel like it would be Pumpkin Hill, mostly because of Snapcube making fun of it. So <laughs> that's one of my <laughs> reasons. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Pumpkin Hill is. Oh, my gosh. Wow. I've been getting like all sorts of unique answers lately, and I've never gotten Pumpkin Hill before. So that's that's good. <laughs> uh, the, the, I, I do love Pumpkin Hill also because it's like. One of my favorite content creators, not sure if you heard of uh, Fidel Games Cage. He did a cover of the song. Oh. Uh, re- 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 a really, really nice cover. Really nice cover. There are not a lot of uh, covers of the Knuckles songs uh, out there. <laughs> yeah, unlike, but, yeah. Sonic, <laughs> unlike, unlike Sonic, you don't chuckle. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Pumpkin Hill is a very unique answer. Thank you for that one. You're welcome. And thank yeah, you for your question. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah thanks for your question, Radar. Thanks, fellas. I'm off. E. All right. Now, Scruffy, when do you want to choose the next person? Uh, sure. How about Kumo ZD? She's one of my neutrals, too. So I would love to hear what she has to ask. All right. Oh, aw. Let's call her up. Hello. Uh, you are muted. Hi there. Hey, Kumo. Uh, hello. Oh, uh, yeah. I was about to sleep because it's a little bit human here. I was like, oh, uh, and the notification for this uh stage happens like Scruffy Berry, the one, the one should Amy artist. Uh, holy, sh- I need to join. I need to be there. I need to support my should Amy girlies, no matter what, no matter what. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I really like your art. Like, I really like how detailed and how much effort you put into every piece. So, I have a question. Go I'm really ahead. curious about something. Uh, how do you, like how do you focus on a work? Like, do you listen to like background music or do do you listen to like podcasts or whatever? What do you, what do you do? What do you do? What's your secret? <laughs> I I do listen to um music. Sometimes I even listen to true crime documentaries. Sometimes yeah. I'm like. <laughs> have a video oh, wow. playing or like a movie a review video or sometimes music and whatever that gets me in the zone i will listen to it and kind of just get distracted while i work oh that's so nice okay 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 <clears throat> I'll, I'll keep some of those principles in mind because uh, i i i need to also be consistent with my art <laughs> you are a legend what do you mean everyone check out her <laughs> check out her <laughs> idol amy comic <laughs> Oh my god, free promotional plug? No way. Oh, you know it? <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, it was Good. nice meeting you. Uh, thanks oh. for your question, Kumo. Yeah, thank you for your question. Thank you. Bye. All right. And before we go into another audience question, I have another question for Scruffy. What's your favorite piece of Sonic media? This can be either the games, one of the TV oh. shows, or the, one of the movies, or what? Oh my god. Um I really I really love the movies. They're really fun, but I also love um hmm, I'm not sure if this counts as a media, but I love Sonic and Cam um Camelot. Him in the night world. I just love the medieval theme and feeling to it. So definitely anything like that is is cool. But the movies is fun in itself too. And also um of course Shadow Shadows lore. Sonic and the Black Knight oh, is such yes, a Yes, very thing. nice. Sonic is. Black Knight's one of my favorites. Same. <laughs> All right. Um, MC, did you want to pick the next person? All right, sure. Let's see. Who should we call up? Hmm. I'll go with Nervous Maria the Hedgehog. Hi, welcome. Hey, you are muted. Okay. Hello, Hello there. Hey, what's up? Hi. Hello. I haven't seen him. I haven't been talking since like last time. Oh, wow. Well, welcome back. Like, <laughs> How's it going? Doing uh, good. Yeah. Okay, so like I got a question. Okay, so this might be for ships. Uh, uh-huh. wh- which one which one do you want to rate for Son Amy or Son Addo? Oh, I like both though. Like I like both. <laughs> I I'm not oh, a picky okay. person when it comes to shipping, unless it's something weird. But I, I like both. Actually I like both a lot. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty <laughs> yes. cool. Yeah, especially the moment where Shadow Bridal carries Sonic and Sonic Prime. I was like, 
Oh yeah, huh? Sonic Prime. I see that. And then he said, he said, I heard you too, Shadow. Oh my, this is like real crazy. <laughs> yes, I I do like Sonic Do as well as Sh- um Sonic Me and Shadow Me. I like all three. All three. Why not? Why one when you can do three? Really? Yes. <laughs> also, I really like some art. The the art stuff was just pretty good. I'm kind of an artist too. It was just. Just doing some Sonic art stuff, so yeah, yeah. I feel like Sonic art is probably every artist goes through that phase. <laughs> yeah. you, can't ta- you cannot escape. You must I embrace it. Not escape. What the <laughs> heck? Okay. Thanks for so, the Yeah. Hey there. I'm happy to see you there. Um, I haven't been talking to you since like last time with uh, you know. And yeah, that's fine. Anyway, thanks for your question. You're welcome. All right. Now, Boone, you want to choose the next person? Sure thing. Um, I will choose Shadow Dark Angel. Come on up. Hello. Hello. Can Hello you there. Speak? Loud and Hi. clear. Yeah, we can hear you. All right. I haven't been in this server for a very long time and seeing uh, the the, uh, the notification of this man was like, uh, okay, we're probably just going to join in just for a sec. <laughs> and, and first of all, um, I Scrappy, uh, I just, and first of all, Scrappy Berry, I just want to say I l- really love your art. I just discovered, I just found you on your YouTube channel and, and I, I, I just follow, I just subscribed to you and follow you not too long ago, like probably five months or four months ago. I just knew you, I just knew you based on, on your YouTube. Um, you do comic dubs here and there. Yes. And I would, and I was like intrigued with it i was and i i didn't know you also do like comic dubs here and there <laughs> yes and that is another thing i do <laughs> i and i also have one i have a question for you uh, scruffy berry uh mm-hmm. aside from doing like um art uh on and post it on your mainly on your on your twitter i've been seeing um you do how what what makes you do you want to do like you, uh, you, YouTube, and doing lots of comic dubs because I've been following you ever since, and I really impressed with the voice acting and real and the editing skills and whole holy crap! I just, I just love, I just love it. Very inter- very, very interesting. This got my caught my interest, you know. And yeah. I just want to know what makes you want to do YouTube, and what um what inspired you to do comic dubs. Okay, so I another um, hobby and dream of mine is voice acting. I will love to be a comic artist, but I will also love to be a voice actress. So I thought, hey, got to start somewhere. And I decided to start doing comic dubs and started with Sonic since that's one of my favorite franchise. And I, it's, I think it's also a good way to bring the works of other artists to life. So whenever I try to do a dub, I try to reach out to them to ask for permission first. And when they say yes, then I go ahead and edit it and voice it with two of my friends. And it's just a good way for me to practice voicing and a good way for me to bring other people's work to life and showcase their work, link their accounts so people can check them out. Some, something like that. And I also dub my own stuff here and there, too. And not, not, I mean, dubbing your own comedy is also... Is also I'm also interested with, uh, I'm also caught my interest because your art is just so impressive, as she, especially with Shed Amy, because I'm, I'm, I'm also, I'm also a big fan of Shed Amy. Not, uh, people used to know me as, uh, as the Sonado shipper, but I also love, uh, be, your, your Shed Amy art is really good. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad. <laughs> well, uh, thanks for okay, questions, I, Dark Angel. Uh, you, you, no problem, man. No problem, guys. So, see ya. The go down there. I go. <laughs> and just for the record, I also discovered you, you Scruffy Bear, through your YouTube channel. I discovered that one comic dub you did from Toon Sight with the different Amy's meeting up. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was probably the the most popular one so far. And we did that. She, I think, um, Toon Sight did that comic for a Shadow Museum that we were working on. So I was like, hey, at first I was wondering, should I dub this? And I saw someone else dubbed it in Spanish. So I'm like, OK, let's do an English one then. And yeah. <laughs> there it goes. 
Yeah, I also I tried looking for that comic on Toonsight's uh, Twitter pro page. I didn't see it anywhere. Where'd you find it? I think that's probably in our zine. It might be exclusive to our zine, so uh, that might be it. See, and we know we got a text question here for you. It says, "Hello, Scruffy Bear." It's Supersonic twenty three twenty seventy three asks, "Hello, Scruffy Bear. I really like your art, especially Amy Rose, because I love her so much." And I always like your art on Twitter, and I also really love your voice as Amy Rose. Okay, my question is, what is your favorite comic about Sonic, official comic or fan-made? Ooh, favorite comic about Sonic. I think I really, I don't really read a lot of Sonic comics, but if I have to choose from some of the stuff I've seen, I'll probably say the one where they all turn into, like, zombie robots. I thought though, that was pretty cool and dark, oh, and I love zombies. Oh, yes. <laughs> the IDW line. Yep. Yes, I love IDW. And Search, she's, she is... Baby girl queen. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Scruffy, you want to choose the next person? Um, let's see. Uh, we can choose. Uh, I hope I'm saying this right. I'm a duels. I saw the name. Yeah, I'm a duels. I'll call him up. Hello there. <laughs> yeah, so really the <laughs> <laughs> yep, I knew you'd get the reference. <laughs> um. Also, I actually wasn't aware that about you at first until like this thing but after seeing your all oh my god it's really good thank um, you i really like the one with courage and palm the eye that one i really enjoyed thank you <laughs> um anyways my question is um i mean i'm going to become an artist myself like pretty good especially pixel artist um mm -hmm. how would you say is a good way to draw hands that's the part Ooh. about art I hate drawing. That's an excellent question. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, hands took me a long time to kind of get used to, but I think the best thing to do is probably look at references and you can always take photos of your own hands or if you have friends yeah. and relative that's willing to um, let you take hand pics, then you can kind of use that as reference and you can start from there. And once you get used to how the hands work, you can kind of, it's like anatomy, you can kind of, yeah just go about it it just comes General to you naturally case. yes <laughs> um yeah yeah it's mainly because i and especially since i'm like wanting to become like a pixel art animator that is something i would definitely want to know well that's so, awesome yeah i've done pixel art in the past so there's that um hands are definitely something every artist needs to know at some yeah. point yeah absolutely they're hard <laughs> but mm -hmm. they're important um but anyways that was my quick question um thank you so much for your question apple oh um bananas <laughs> <laughs> all right and before we get to the next science member i have another question for scruffy what is a sonic character you haven't drawn but would like to oh mm, i don't think i've drawn sticks because uh, whenever I reach a new milestone on my YouTube, I draw a little thank you drawing for the subscribers. And I think Six, I missed her because I'm drawing like all the guys on the characters now. And yeah, I totally missed drawing her. I'm wondering what, who else I should draw. I'm not sure. There's a lot. Like you think there's not a lot of Sonic characters, but there's a lot. So there's a lot oh, that I definitely. still haven't drawn. Yeah, Six is a good one. And Storm She's probably. Not. He is. He is very underrated. Poor Storm. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to call up the next person. And it's the wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. I, the name goes as I don't know the name, but I'll call him up. The wonderful Chow Master. Yeah, the wonderful Chow Master. <laughs> hey, hey, that's me. Okay. Hello there. Um, how, how, we, how we doing? How we doing here? Uh, a little good? birdie. A little birdie told me to get on Discord. So I did. And I was like, who's this? Who's this scruffy person? And then I, I go on formerly Twitter and I'm like, oh, their art's actually pretty decent, you know? Uh, so uh, from one artist to another, what is your inspiration behind your work? Because everything that I've seen has been very, uh, it's all human sonic that I've seen. So it's, <laughs> it's really, it's really cool, you know? Uh, um, inspiration. So I really like, if we're talking about themes, I love colorful cute wholesome but i also love inks sometimes so you might see more of that later on on twitter or instagram i might post some sonic inks and i just love bringing these characters to life and like maybe doing alternative universe for them au's and such i i would love to do like 
a sonic au comic of my own i have a few ideas but it's just like time i have to find time and motivation energy to do them and inspiration sometimes i also get from like my fellow artists neutrals and such and um what's popular such as the most popular anime or popular video games or shows sometimes i get inspirations from those as well you know what that's i you know what i like that answer uh, i will say sometimes uh sometimes the best way to find motivation is uh you know a, a lot of people would look at art and be like oh this you know i like this i will incorporate this into my work and i will i will absolutely just oh man uh, this <laughs> this is good i will use this uh but um uh, other times it could be movies it could be tv shows just filling your brain with just anything essentially and anything that piques your interest from there to just use forward as motivation so uh that's 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 the best advice i can give as a as an artist so yes. but yeah so that's that is the question i have i gave you a follow on instagram your art school oh, and i hope you, you find the motivation yeah absolutely well thank i hope you, you find a motivation indeed <laughs> thanks for your question yeah. wonderful child yeah. master uh, thank you for having me it's been it's been an honor you have a lovely day. Thank you. You as well. Wee. <laughs> All right. While we wait for more audience members, Boone, do you have any more questions for Scruffy? I do. This is kind of similar to MC's. Um, what's your favorite and least favorite Sonic character to draw? <laughs> Ooh, favorite? I think it's probably Amy. She's my favorite to draw. She's Aww. very cute and very simple. I feel like her design is very simple compared to other characters. Oh, definitely. Um, yeah, so she's my favorite. Um, least favorite so far is probably Vector. Oh my god. Yeah, Vector is quite the something to draw. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, I was like, oh my god. When I was trying to draw him to celebrate wishing one of the YouTube milestones, I'm like, please work with me here. But I love his character. He's just hard to draw. Indeed. <laughs> it's a struggle for every Sonic artist. Yeah, something about alligators. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. wait he's a All crocodile right. my bad yeah he's a crocodile yeah <laughs> okay my next question for you is this what do you see yourself doing in the future illustration wise illustration wise i'm hoping to one day make my own original webtoon stories i have like a good chunk to different stories like multiple characters that some i were redesigned it's just you have to find time to draw each chapters and once um, you get the flow of it. You have to upload daily. So hopefully one day I can do my own webtoons or just web comics with original characters, and maybe even work on animations too for my YouTube. Nice. That's wonderful. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Uh, uh, whoa! I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, if anyone else has any questions for Scruffy, feel free to raise your hand in the. Session, and we'll call on you. In the meantime, my next question for you is this How do you handle art block? Ooh, art blocks. I feel like what I usually do is sometimes I go out for a walk, just seeing people outside and smelling the fresh air. That helps. Other times I game with my friends. We game every Saturday um, at night. So, gaming with them, playing Mario Kart, kicking their ass, that helps too. Um, sometimes just watching a show or playing a game, stuff like that, that helps too. What are, what are your some of, I mean, what are some of your favorite games to play with them? Ooh, I mean, we mostly play Mario Kart and Fortnite. I, I don't really play Fortnite, but they do. So I'll just listen in on them when they're playing and then we'll play Mario Kart after. Um, we usually just play those two games. Other times we'll pay, maybe watch like a movie or something. Very nice. Uh, Boone, do you have, yeah, Boone, do you have any more questions? Um, uh, what's your favorite drawing that you've done? Oh, I'm not sure. My favorite drawing that I've done. Um, I think, I have to say, I think I really like the, the drawing I did of Shadow giving Amy her, her concert tickets. Cause I try my best to do it in the style of, um, the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. And I thought that was like a fun, cute little comic. So I was pretty happy with that, especially since my art is usually very polished, very rendered. And that one is just more flat colors. And I'm trying to do more flat colors instead of just always over rendering my stuff. Hey, so would you mind showing that in the either in the screenshot or the discussion chat? 
Um, sure. Hold on. I think I'll go on uh, DeviantArt for this one since I posted the full thing there instead of just having this is like two pages. So okay. Um, okay. So here's the comic in question. So I thought I had a lot of fun working on this, doing a more comic-y art style, where it's like not a lot of shading other than black and the, the color. So I enjoyed doing this one a lot. Can I zoom in? There you go. I thought that was probably one of my favorite so far. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. I love it. Yeah, Thank it's adorable. You. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, uh, have you dubbed it on your channel? I haven't dubbed this one, mostly because they don't really have a lot of dialogue other than Amy's thank you. Um, but I am trying to see if I can do a few more of my own original comics to dub. Nice. And here's a little sneaky. Maybe I'll dub one of my comic ideas. I might dub Amy speaking Japanese. So that'll be fun. Oh, that's really cool. I can't wait for that if that ever happens. <laughs> Eventually. Hopefully, I'll probably get to it soon. And there'll be a special character showing up as well, maybe. Well, not, not from the Sonic franchise, from another really popular anime franchise. But you guys might see her Mobian form. Ooh, exciting. <laughs> All right, my next question is this. Where can, find, where can people find you and your work? Oh, literally anywhere. I have Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. I have um, YouTube, Tumblr too, DemonArt. So anywhere, really. And I, I've been running some of these like accounts since forever. So you guys can find me on any of those. And I try to post daily to each of them. But I'm mostly active on Instagram and uh, Twitter for art. That's Very awesome. Nice. Thank you. Well, it looks like we got a text question from Nervous Maria the Hedgehog. Have you played Princess Peach Showtime? I haven't. I want to, but it's like I know that if I buy, it's going to be one of those games I play for like... A little bit, and then I kind of get sidetracked, and it's going to collect dust. So I haven't played it, but I want to because she looks so cute in all those outfits. Maybe. Maybe one day I'll play it. I'll get in. I'll play it. Yeah, it looks like a really cool game. Super cute, like you mentioned. <laughs> is there a story to it, or is there, like, just just her, like... Yeah, I, I think cute. there's a story to it. Okay, awesome. I'm still waiting on audience members to raise their hand. So my next question is, what was the hardest project you've ever worked on? Ooh, the hardest project I've ever worked on, I'll have to say, is probably um, <clears throat> this little Nightmares comic that I did. It was like a hundred something pages. And it's basically just like a, a AU ending. If you know the second game, you know what happened to the characters and everyone was very upset. So I was like, what if this happened? And I finished it probably within a year because I had school at the time. But I managed to get it done, even though it was difficult because the fandom was kind of like dying off. The, there wasn't any new news or anything. So I was like, should I finish this? But I don't like leaving works unfinished. So I ended up finishing it. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you. How many pages did you say it was? Like a hundred something. I think, well, there was actually, I think 108 because I did a little like epilogue after. And you can find it on Webtoons and such. It's oh also my on my goodness. Yeah, it's also yeah. on my Instagram and Twitter. <laughs> That's really impressive. Wow. Thank you. I can mm -hmm. show you guys um like the folder with some of the pages if you would like to see. Sure. Um hold on. I'll just pull up the thing and here it is. Um okay. Here's here it is. And here's all of the pages. So I think I can actually count. Here we go. Yeah, like 107 plus like, um, like a, a bonus little, page. Yeah, a little bonus page, something like this. And I did do like um, a cover for it on Webtoon. It was fun. I, the third game is coming. Can't wait to see a trailer or something or some announcement for it. But yeah, it was a lot of work. <laughs> a little passion I project. I bet. Um, I actually have another question. <laughs> so I heard that you do comic dubbing, of course. And yeah. I was curious, are there any specific characters that you enjoy voicing? Oh, oh, man. Um, I think I actually really enjoy voicing Rouge and Blaze. Funny enough. Really? Yeah, I don't voice no. them. Yeah, I don't really voice them a lot. It's always Tails or Amy because I feel like they appear the most like 
there's a lot of comics of them. But I think because of that, I like voicing Blaze and Rouge because there's not a lot of comics. So whenever I do get to voice them, it feels special. So I, I think that, that I like voicing them. And recently I did a voice for To Call. So one day you might see that on my channel too. I think Surge is another one that I love a lot. I love doing her little like raspy evil voice. Oh yeah, she has a lot of energy too, which I'm sure is fun to voice. She mm -hmm. is. <laughs> okay, we've got another text question here from Nervous Maria. Have you listened to Peaches from the Mario movie? Yes. <laughs> yes. My friends and I were singing that for months when it came out. And I, I love it. <laughs> I love that. Justice for Bowser. <laughs> I feel like... Poor thing, even though he was uh, a bit forceful, but you know what? Him and Luigi, he can just get with Luigi. That works too. Oh man. Yeah, that song was in everyone's heads for a while. <laughs> it was beautiful. <laughs> just another reminder for everyone if you want to ask a question, just raise your hand and we'll call on you. Okay, my next question is Do you have any new projects that are coming up for this year? And what can you tell us about them? Ooh, well, other projects are probably just some short son Sonic comics I might dub for my channel. And if you are a voice actor, feel free to dub my comics. Like, I would love to see what other people can do with dubbing my comics. I'd love to see that. So feel free to dub it um, as long as I dub it first. Usually I do it pretty quick. So you guys probably have like a week or two. You can dub it as well. Um, so comics for that, maybe... I want to do like maybe song covers too from anime and games for my YouTube channel. Um, maybe hopefully finally get to work on one of my stories for the webtoon. So there's that. I happen to be a comic dumb, so I might look into it. Please do. I would love to see. <laughs> Make sure to tag me so I can check it out. Absolutely. Hmm. And Boone, did he have any more questions? Oh, um, well, um, I know that you're in other fandoms. Other than Sonic, do you mind naming a couple? Uh, okay, so some of them are probably, that I draw from more often, are probably, um, I love Spy X Family. I love Digital Circus, Little Nightmares. Um, hmm, Zelda, I don't really draw a lot for Zelda, but I did do a dub for that uh, recently, so there's Zelda as well. Um, I helped my friend out with his channel and dubbing stuff for there, and we've done a few Mario stuff. Maybe I'll do some Mario um, artwork as well. Mm, I think that's about it for some of the main fandoms. Hey, nice. gotcha. That's awesome. Yeah. I know Spy X Family has been getting very popular lately. Yes, it's very fun, very cute. And if you're a shadow shipper, guess who has pink hair and black hair in that show? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, now we got a couple of hands raised. I'm going to call uh, Supersonic2073 again. It looks like they lowered their hand. Okay, I'll call up Nervous Maria again. I literally had to see that too. It was like, I don't know why you lowered his hand. <laughs> that, was, that, that was crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let's see what we got. Okay, have you listened to like Sonic uh, music before? Yes, I have. I love listening to some of the, um, I'll say probably the character songs. Those are fun, but I also love listening to Quiet songs, actually. I know mean, Sonic's their, his music is known for more being very upbeat and fast, same Sonic. But I really like the slow, simple songs to piano, violin. I think those are really cute. Or like maybe Sonic lo-fi's. I think those are really nice as well. My dad listened to. My, I mean, my dad plays a piano before when he goes downstairs, and then I just heard when when I was on the computer, I heard my dad playing the piano, and then I went to. Go downstairs. Oh, that's awesome! So cute. And then you know, you know my brother. You know what my brother did? He plays the Tetris on the piano. It was like he, he knows how to do it. Rush E, like Tetris, and the up, the up Tetris. I guess. Wait, he can play Rush E. That's crazy. Yeah, he I'm, can. I'm a it bit was, of a beginner a pianist, and Rush E is very, very difficult. So that's impressive. <laughs> Well, uh oh, spaghettios. <laughs> Get it? Uh oh, yeah. spaghettios. I know that. Like my papa told me how to say uh oh, spaghettios because I because I know how to do that. It's funny. Well, thank you so much for your question. No problem. Yep. Thanks for your question. And now we got a bunch of text questions right here. Oh, I'll start off with 
Supersonic2073 typed out a question, and since he can't speak, his question is, what's your favorite movie franchise? Oh my, uh, favorite movie franchise? I don't know. Uh, there's, I don't, I don't really think I've watched one that went on for too long, I think. I, I feel like franchise that goes on for too, like movies that goes on for too long is sometimes you kind of get bored of it. But if I have to, I can't like anything by Stephen King. So I remember when the It movie came out in 2017, I loved that movie. Second one wasn't, well, it was all right, but anything Stephen King, I will say. I really like horror films too. So sometimes I'll get like, I'll see what's up for the Conjuring films, Insidious films. Um, oh, I heard recently they all sucked, but I, I love horror films too. Fascinating. And we got another text question from Khaled, the game dev. My question is, it says, hey, Scruffy Berry, hope you're doing well. My question is, have you thought about making a game of your own or starting your own franchise? I am doing well. And yes, I have. I, I have. I have all these um, characters that I made and stories. And hopefully one day I could get around to making them either into a game or a comic that could get made into an animation. But hopefully, hopefully one day. <laughs> it's just finding the time to do it and the resources. I know that feeling. <laughs> There's I mean, another question uh, from... Uh, I'm sorry, MC, were you going to say something? Go ahead. Okay. Um... There's another question from Topaz. Um, one of my questions for Scruffy Berry is, what is your most and least favorite Sonic villain? Can be from any Sonic media, and why? Um, most and least favorite? I think my most favorite is just Eggman. He's just a classic, and honestly, I, I like him a lot. I, I, like seeing, I like seeing him and Sonic work together. It's like a Tom and Jerry moment where you kind of see them buddy up and work together against a bigger threat. So... Eggman's probably my favorite. My least favorite is what's that purple guy's name? Um, uh, he's like a blizzard kind of. Is it Ted? Um, wonder what his. If you guys know who I'm talking about, I'm about to look him up. Hold on. Um, um <laughs> what is his name? He's part of like that group that had like the green girl. Um, oh, oh, the deadly six. You mean Zaz? There you go, Zaz. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go, him. I just feel like he's. It's not really threatening as a villain <laughs> from what I've seen. I'm just like, okay, you can't really take him seriously. Okay, now we got someone with their hand raised. And yeah, Boone, you mind calling them up? Sure. Uh, come on up, Amadeus the Cat. <laughs> Round two. Yes. <laughs> Round two. <Fight>. <laughs> <laughs> um, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, uh, the second question is, uh, what is your favorite indie game franchise and what? Ooh, indie game. So I love Undertale. <laughs> oh, that was another fandom I should have said, Delta but Rue. I love oh, yes, my. I love I love Undertale. I love Delta Rue. Um, so those I I think that's one of my first indie game that I really got into. I know Five Nights at Freddy's came out before it, but I was more into oh, yeah. Undertale than that one. Uh, Doki Doki Literature Club is another one I'm really yeah. into. Yes, it's so cute. Just Monica. It's both cute and horrifying, but it is um, yeah. One of my personal favorites is uh, the Shantae series. Um, I really like the games. Um, nice. Yeah, those are fun. Um, to be fair, I like a lot of way forward stuff. So, um, well, that's awesome. Did that yeah. answer your question? Yep, yeah, that answered it perfectly fine. Um, awesome. You have a lovely rest of your day. Yeah, you too. Oh. And thanks for the question, okay. Amadeus. Now I got another text question from Shadow Dark Angel. My question to Scruffy Berry is, are you doing okay with doing voice acting collaboration in others' channels? And are you opening voice acting for others on your channel? Yes, I am very much open if you would like me to voice things for your channel. You can just send me a DM on Instagram or Twitter, or you can send me something like a message or email to my email. And we can talk about that there. I would love to voice something for someone else's channel. Awesome. MZ, we might, you might have another candidate. <laughs> 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 I got a lot of people asking for being in my project, so we'll see. <laughs> anyway, and I got another question for you is, what is something you would tell a beginning artist? Ooh, I would say probably focus on anatomy. I think that's something a lot of people overlook when they start drawing. 
but that definitely practice anatomy drawing the form of a character or an animal you're trying to draw after you got the anatomy everything else comes easier such as the styles and such because you want the body and the face and everything to look good when you're drawing so i feel like definitely do anatomy and after anatomy i would say probably rendering shading that comes after gotcha okay it's very good advice uh boone did you have any more questions um let me think about it uh no i don't think so okay so let me ask another question here let's see okay my next question is what is your favorite art style oh favorite art style well my art style is very anime-ish as you can see (laughs) So I feel like anime art style, but with a painterly vibe. A lot of the artworks you've seen from like Japanese artists on Twitter. So it's like anime, but it also has a bit of realism to it, especially the way it's painted. It feels a bit Renaissance-ish. So I, I really love styles like that, or just like kind of like a bit of mixture of both. I also love simple styles, like flat color comic styles. Panty and stocking being an example. I love styles like that, where it's just simple, but it's still very eye-catching. Very nice. So my next question is this. Which do you like doing more, traditional art or digital art? Or do you like both and why? Ooh, I actually like both. Even though I don't really do traditional art as much as I used to. But I I do love to do both. And actually, I can pull up some traditional artworks right now. In a bit. Hold on. Because I don't really post my traditional work online as much anymore. But I can definitely show you guys how some of my traditional artworks look um i think this here we go um okay um, yeah. so here's some of my um traditional art stuff speaking of sonic here's sonic that i oh, did that is so cute <laughs> oh my gosh i love it that is Thank so cute <laughs> so, little joey dog in his little paws yeah, and then I don't know if there's any Haspen Hotel fans out there, but I did this one for my friend who is in love with Alistair. So that's some of my traditional artworks that I've done. Oh, there's um, if there's any JoJo fans, Journal is right here too. And I think I did some um, Neji for um, another coworker. These are like from a few years ago though, but yeah i do kind of miss doing traditional not gonna lie you're really good at drawing humans <laughs> thank you indeed i have another question actually um do you plan on attending any sonic conventions in the future uh, i'm going to anime expo in july this year but just as a guest i'm not gonna have like um a booth or a panel i'm just going with my friends so if anyone's there maybe we might bump into each other who knows that's oh, the only one. Yeah, that's the only one I'm going to so far. But I am also going to the Sonic concert in June. So, oh, the Sonic Ooh. Symphony. Yes, very much looking forward to that. So, mm. exciting. I, I went to one of them. You're definitely in for a treat. Just going to say mm-hmm. that. <laughs> very exciting. Okay, does anyone else have any more questions? Uh, I know a couple popped up in California, but I don't know if I'll go. So. All right. <laughs> I know you kind of already asked and answered this question, but Nervous Maria had another question. It was, have you watched The Amazing Digital Circus? Yes. <laughs> yes. I love it. And if you guys seen the latest episode, Gummy Goo. Justice yes. for Gummy. Please <laughs> bring my boy back. Uh, do you have any favorite characters from that show? I'm, I'm basic. I like Palmy. I, I love that she's like this little clown girl and she's so cute and she's just, she's adorable. I love her. I like... I don't know. I like them all, really, but I think I I really like Pawnee. Her and Gummy are like my favorite right now. I like King uh, too, though. Yes. Uh huh. Do you have a favorite MC? A favorite MC? Oh no, no, I was wondering if MC had a favorite Digital Circus character oh. too. My favorite would probably have to be Kane because he's just so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he's very animated, and I really enjoy doing his voice. Oh, that's really <laughs> good! Wow. Okay. Okay, so another question here is, hmm, what is your favorite food? Oh, favorite food? I like anything that's soup-based. So anything that's like, mm, for example, like ramen or soup noodles or um, Mexican caldrols. I love anything with soup. So soup stuff is always good. Nice. Hi. All right, Boone, did you have any more questions? Yeah, um... What is something that you wish people knew more about your work? I'm not sure. I 
Um, I don't really know. <laughs> I think I'm okay with them just liking my work. Maybe the amount of time that goes into it. But because sometimes I do pop out work really fast, but uh, it does take a while to make. Other than that, I feel like I don't really have too much. Maybe the inspiration behind some of the characters, some of the reference, like a crossover or my own OC, if they can get the reference of whatever I'm drawing. Like those are the things I would like people to know more about. I gotcha. Me. So another question I have is, what is an Easter egg in your illustrations that you would like to point out? Ooh, Easter egg. Ah, uh, hmm. See if I, I'm not sure. I don't, sometimes I don't really add Easter eggs to my illustrations. Um, I'll have to look through some of them, but sometimes they're either um, something from another franchise um, or maybe it's like a callback to another game. Um, sometimes I do Sonic comics where he's, uh, I guess, based off of another show. So having people know what they are usually are nice. Those are usually the Easter eggs. I'm really out there with it, but there are times where people miss it. Just a reminder for everyone, if anyone has any more questions, feel free to raise your hand or type a question in the discussion chat. We'll call on you. Okay, I got another question for you. We know you like drawing Amy a lot. Is there something about Amy that you like to portray in your artwork? Her being a badass. I like, I, I draw her very cutesy and stuff, but I also love drawing her where she's kind of a badass, like in my recent I think the one before the other one I posted where she is a human and she has her hammer, but then she's kind of like wiping blood off her face because she just got into like a fight. I, I really like it when Amy's portrayed as like a badass because mm. people just think she's this cute girl and whatever, but she she can definitely kick ass if she wants to. Mm. Hi. Um, hey. see, did you have another question? Uh, I was just going to ask if you were. You had one. Oh, uh, what's your favorite color? And I know that might be like a hard question for an artist, but <laughs> um, I uh, jumped around. But right now it's it's pink and black. So I really like like pink and black mixed together. Anything pastel, like pastel blue and purple works too. Pink and black. I, I can see the Shad Amy reference. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's just because I like how they look. It doesn't really have to do with um, the ship itself. Or the, oh, or yeah, the band. I was just kidding. Or the yeah. band. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely choices. <laughs> okay, I got another question. What's your favorite animal? Oh, um, favorite animal. Do I have to choose one or can I choose multiple? You can choose multiple. Okay, awesome. I like cats a lot. I know this is basic, but I love cats. I love how sassy they are. I love how human they can be. And funny enough, my favorite Sonic girl is Blaze instead of Amy. It's just she's a bit more trickier to draw than her. But I love cats. Um, I like rabbits, too. Um, deers. Uh, not, but I'll put cats on the front of the list and rabbits. Aw, super cool choices. They're all really <laughs> cute animals. They are. Hey, can you nervous me? You had another question. Have you played Cuphead? I and haven't. And her, I she and her dad played it on the Switch. I haven't played Cuphead, but I have watched other people play it in Rage. So there's that. <laughs> I watched a few animation of Cuphead, but I never played it like that. So usually it's just don't really have time to. So I just watch other people play it. But it's a it's a fun game, it seems. And the story behind is very inspiring too. like a group of friends, you know, just getting together, making a game and Hopefully, my friends and I can do that one day. Very nice. Uh, anyway, another question I have is this. Do you have a pet? And if so, what is their name? I don't have a pet, <laughs> sadly. Uh, Hopefully, uh, I can get one. But if I get a pet, I will get a cat. And I will name it Newt Newt after the sound that Pengu makes. Oh, that's so uh, cute. <laughs> nice. Aww. Anyway, does anyone else have any more questions? Anyone feel free to raise your hand or type a question in the discussion chat. What's your dream vacation look like? <laughs> oh, I actually really want to go to like Sweden or Switzerland, like places with a lot of grass and their sheep too, cute little sheep. Oh, yeah, you can run in the field, the nice fresh air there. And um, another place would probably be Japan. Every weave's <laughs> every weave's dream. So that's a place I would love to go to as well. Very nice. What is it about Japan and Switzerland that you like so much? I like the culture of Japan, the things there. Um, I want to see like some of the shrines, some of the nature, like Mount Fuji, and with 
European countries, I more or less just want to see the countryside. Instead of the cities, I want to see like some of the abandoned castles. That seems really cool. And like just the more of the nature part of a country to appreciate what it was from the very beginning. Very nice. That's awesome. That only Thank answer. Hey, my, my next question would probably have to be this. What is your favorite fan project that you've seen is not your own? Oh, uh, hmm. I'll have to really think about that. I've seen so many uh, fan project. I think like some of the indie games that we brought up, I feel like it's really cool that they went from like a, like a small team into a big project like Five Nights at Freddy's. It's like on the big screen now. That's crazy. And I would say maybe for smaller projects, maybe little animation shorts. Oh, here's one. If anyone knows Mystery Skull, um, I love their music videos. I love the characters they made. And I'm actually going to a concert for them, too, in probably July. And I, I really love little projects like that. That's probably one of my favorite indie projects. Very nice. It uh, looks like Nervous Maria has her hand raised again. I'll call her up again. Round three or four. When was it? <laughs> Who knows? I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I heard that it was like round three or round four. Yep. So, what's your okay. question? Okay. Um, have you guys played Friday Night Funkin' before? I haven't, but I loved watching like people play, and I love the mods that people do for it. I also love the fan arts, and I love um some of the music. I think my favorite two songs from that game is probably going to be... um daddy's uh song his last song and then pico's last song i love <laughs> daddy, <laughs> daddy dears yes girlfriend's sir dad girlfriend's yeah. dad yes right. i love um, i love his songs i i kind of maybe like on um, mine is like um when i kind of rage at mary's mod like i was like dude this is crazy how am i able to game over my gosh i i kind of like rage a lot of course. <laughs> I raged at the game and I was like, Mary, I hope you don't get Ron. My gosh. Because, like, it gets in my head every single time. <laughs> but it was so funny. Yeah, I never Anyways, got that, is my, that is my question. Yeah, thanks for the question again, yeah. Nurse Maria. No problem. See you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Have a lovely day. <laughs> All right, and we got another text question from Topaz here. A uh, second one I have for Scruffy Berry is, do you have any advice for artists who are just try are try trying to start and want to grow an audience and to be more, no, and to be more known for and about their art content? I feel like, well, earlier, aside from the not in me and stuff, I would say another good way to start out is draw what you like. If there's a, a fandom or a franchise you like, for example, Sonic, draw for it. Draw for it and build an audience that loves your work for this franchise. And I feel like eventually they'll start liking you as a person instead of just an artist who posts art. And then you can also start making your own original content. I think that's a good way to start. Very nice. Write okay. that down. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. All right. Got a question from Gogenstan here. Question to Scruffy Berry. Who's your favorite My Little Pony character? Oh, um, I love Fluttershy. And I also love Discord. I think I had a crush on him back as a kid. Fluttershy, Discord, um, Luna, and um, I start to like Rarity a lot too. I like Twilight, but more for her design than for her character. So yeah, those are some of the top ones. Nice. Okay, Boone, you want to answer the next text, next question? Oh yeah. Uh, third question from Supersonic twenty seventy three. Um, what is your favorite series from other studios like Cartoon Network, uh, Disney, and Nickelodeon? Oh, other series. I used to really love Steven Universe. That was one of my favorite. Powerpuff Girls, always. Totally Spies, too. Um, I think it's also coming out with a new season. Uh, maybe tomorrow. Ben 10. Oh, Avatar The Last Airbender. Oh, my God. So, there, yeah, the list goes on. But I think these, the ones I just listed, are some of my top babes. If I can remember to list them, then they're definitely top babes. Encourage. <laughs> 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 Awesome. Very, very good. And got a third, third question from Shadow Dark Angel. Have you ever watched any adult cartoons from any media, like South Park or Family Guy, etc.? 
Yes, <laughs> I love South Park's. Um, usually I don't I don't watch a lot of it, but I usually watch the special episodes where it's just it feels very realistic, like the COVID episode, the one where all the kids are fighting over the drinks. Um, Family Guy I used to watch uh, it more as a kid, but not as much as an adult. Bob's Burgers definitely one of my faves. So yeah, those. Not sure if Bob Burger counts as an adult. I think it does, right? I yeah. think so. Yeah, Bob's Burgers. <laughs> And I guess recently has been hotel. Um, it's definitely also very adultish. So that's another one I like. All of those went over my head. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Boone, did you have any more questions? Um, do you have a favorite Disney movie? I know there's kind of a question similar to that, but. Oh, favorite Disney movie. That's so, <laughs> that's very difficult to decide. I actually like a lot of the older ones from like the Disney Renaissance. Where everything was more hand drawn, I I like those a lot. I also like if the if it's the more modern one, I guess probably all the ones with the princesses like Moana. With Frozen, I like the second movie more. Mm-hmm. Um, Tangle can 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 mess with Tangle. Everyone loves Tangle, especially the the TV show where she's more two D in flat colors. I think that's really nice, and also her her song of destruction lives rent free in my head great question great choices i agree <laughs> anyway does anyone else have any more questions hmm. if no one else has any more questions i guess we can end the panel early that sounds good and for everyone who stayed maybe i can give you a sneak peek of how i will want amy to sound in japanese <laughs> uh, anyway did you have any closing things you would like to say scruffy um not so much but i could um, do the Japanese voice right now if you are oh, sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, feel like, I feel like how she would sound would be how traditionally she would sound. So, something like that. that. Is so cute. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> Thank you. Arigatou gozaimasu, minna. Oh my gosh. That is adorable. That is yeah. awesome. It is indeed. Thank you. And if it's Rouge, then you already know she'll have that Arara kind of voice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Boone, did you have any closing words? Um, thank you so much for coming. And thank you, Scruffy Berry, for coming and enlightening us of how awesome your artwork is and all the effort that's put into it and some, you know, personal things about yourself. That's awesome. Thank you so much for coming. You're welcome. It was a pleasure to be here. And thank you all. So I just want to say thank you all for coming. Thank you to Scruffy Berry for coming. Thank you to Sonic Boone for co-hosting. And our next panel will be on Wednesday, May 15th at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. It will be Mineral Mayhem. And we're going to join Jewel the Beetle as he gives us a tour of our Mineral Museum. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Thank you all for coming, and we'll see you all some other time. Thank you. See ya. Have a lovely night, you guys. Or night. Have a lovely day. <laughs> Bye.